The field is really excited about this new product. Okay. What, what can you tell us about it? Uh, the, the product is the HDV 600 series. Um, the HDV 600 is this main unit here. It's our high definition video scope. Uh, the unit is a rugged, large LCD unit. It has grips on both sides for uh, handling either the right hand or left hand. We have installed buttons on either side that will take video or snapshots. It has a, um, a very simple user interface. The unit itself is 2 meter drop proof and IP67, the only one in the market that is a full IP67. Mm -hmm. uh, on the bottom here you can see it has slot for an SD card, a video output, USB to access the um, SD card microphone for voice annotation and a, um, a charging bag. The unit itself comes in a case um, like this one. The case is designed to contain the main unit and all of the possible accessories that a user may buy uh, either as a kit or as a future upgrade. Okay, so can you tell us what comes in the kits? Sure. The uh, HDV 600, we have uh, created four different kits for it. The HDV 610, 620, 640, and 640W. Every kit comes with the main unit, a 2 gig SD card, a video out cable, a USB cable to access the SD card, a power adapter, a cleaning kit, and a patch cable. This is common for all the kits. The HDV 610 kit comes with the main unit, all your accessories you see here, a 1 meter, 5.5 uh, millimeter uh, diameter camera that is flexible. The 620 comes with a semi-rigid camera. This one that I'm holding is the semi-rigid camera. The difference is a semi-rigid camera will actually hold its shape, while a flexible camera, just like this one here, will not. All the cameras come with accessories. The accessory are uh, very specific due to the different diameters of the of the actual um, inspection cameras. The accessories that come with it are a 45 uh, degree mirror, which are inside of these vials, a what I call a snag free ball. This ball will actually screw on top of the camera here and allow you to easily go through a pipe or sneak behind wires. And a retrieval magnet, same idea. All of these screw to the tip of the camera and allow you to retrieve stuff. Because of all the different diameters, um, we have designed the, ca the actual case to be able to house more than one of these um, kits and uh, up to uh, six. So you can have multiple cameras in the same housing. The next kit up is the HDV uh, 640 and 640W. Both uh, come with articulation. Now articulation means that the distal end of the camera can actually be maneuvered in one plane, either left or right, using our knob on the main unit here. Mm -hmm. The main difference between the 640 and the 640W is that the transmitter that we provide in the 640 must be used with the patch cable plugged into the bottom into the main unit so it's only wired. The 640W, which is what I'm holding in my hands, is a wireless transmitter. You turn this unit on and it wireless transmits the video here. About how far can it transmit? We can do about 100 feet. About 100 feet. And can this unit also be connected through the cable? Yes. Any of, the, any of our wireless transmitters uh, can be connected through the patch cable mm -hmm. in case you're in a situation where there is uh, interference or you're not allowed to use wireless due to regulations. So we have articulating, uh, wireless, and wired. Yep. And what is the difference then between the cameras that come with the different kits? Okay. As you probably can tell from our catalog, we have an extensive offering of cameras. Uh, we go anywhere from a 4 millimeter camera all the way up to a 25 millimeter camera. Now the 4 millimeter camera is this one that you see here. Um, very thin in diameter. It comes in a flexible uh, shaft only. Uh, we offer in 1 meter. Uh, and uh, the resolution on this camera, which is the only one out of the pack, is 
320 by 240 pixels. All the other cameras from the 5.5 millimeter all the way to the 25 millimeters, the resolution is 640 by 480 pixels. So this four millimeter uh, semi Flexi flexible. flexible, is this available in a kit format? Is this one always bought as a separate accessory? It's always bought as a separate accessory. And this is available in one meter length? Yes. The next item up here, we have the, uh, the HDV WTX1. This is our self-contained wireless transmitter. Mm -hmm. What this unit allows you to do is to take any of our cameras, the 5.5 millimeter, the 4 millimeter, the 25 millimeter, connect them here, and all of a sudden you turn your unit into a wireless unit. Um, it's, it's a rugged, again, all of these are IP67, 2 meter drop proof, so it's a rugged unit, easy to handle with one hand, uh, and it gives you the freedom of twisting and turning and, and pulling or pushing the, uh, the camera into any kind of situation you may be in. All right, so uh, all, the, all of the cameras can fit into this wireless transmitter, Yes. but this wireless transmitter is not the articulated... It's not. Correct. Piece. It's a totally separate piece. Yes, because the, the articulation, because of the nature of the unit, the cameras itself cannot be detached but from the articulation unit. That's why we have the four products that you know of, the uh, one meter wireless, the one meter wired, then we have a two meter wireless and a two meter wired. But the cameras cannot be changed. They're not interchangeable. They're attached. All right. So just to remind us, what camera comes on the wireless articulating probe? It's a six millimeter semi-rigid, which means it holds its shape, 600 by 400, 640 by 480 uh, pixel resolution. This is the standard size. This is the one meter. The diameter and resolution are the same for the two meter also. Moving up to a, a, a more specialized camera, I have a sample here. We also offer, as I said, a 25 millimeter camera, um, which is our a plumbing special. Um, this is the 25 millimeter camera. You see it's, it's got a large um, stainless steel head on it mm -hmm. with uh, 12 large LEDs for a great illumination and a large lens. Okay. Okay. It also is mounted on a very flexible spring this is great for getting through uh, pipes. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about was this special cable here. This is the fiberglass cable. It's six millimeters in diameter. It's a fiberglass reinforced cable, which means it has a 200 pound tensile strength. Mm -hmm. So you can either pull or push up to 200 pounds. Uh, we offer this all the way to 30 meters, which is 100 feet. And you need that extra stiffness and strength to be able to push all the way down a 100 foot line. Again, this comes with the same termination on the other side, which you can plug in directly to our HDV 600 or our wireless transmitter. Then I also see, besides the choice between flexible and rigid cable, you also need to consider the macro and non macro lenses. And non macro lenses. So, can you tell us? Sure. The difference between those and what is available in one and the other. The the macro or non micro lens refers to the field of view of the camera. The macro lens is focused uh, at a distance of 25 millimeters to 60 millimeters, which is about one inch to three inches. That's where you're going to find the sharpest image. Uh, the non macro lens is is more of a general purpose camera, which is focused from 60 millimeters all the way up to infinity. So it's, it's a great camera for you to be um, scoping a large area with, but when you get up close looking for high definition details, it's best to use a macro lens. Uh, so Gio, thanks for showing me all the uh, cable accessories. I see that uh, most of the accessories are one, two, and there's one that's three meters long. What about a customer who needs something longer? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we do have um, up to uh, 30 meters, which is 100 feet. Uh, and those specific uh, cameras come into uh, spools, just like this one, so you can easily coil it up. This one, for example, is a 5.5 uh, a millimeter camera, um, flexible, and it's 10 meters long. It's one of the units, but we also go up all the way up to uh, 30.
30 meters, and that's yeah. obviously because it coils up. Mm -hmm. It's only the flexible one that's available in the longer length. Yes, the flexible and the fiberglass. Well, that sounds great. Looks like we have all the bases covered with this product. Thank you very much, Scott.